G'day, g'day. I hope you guys are all having a good one. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Elemental Week of Jenga FX. So, surprisingly speaking, it actually came out a little bit earlier than I thought it would. Uh, I was planning for it to be coming out tomorrow, which is going to be Monday for you guys, but uh, Tuesday for me. However, seems like they released it a little bit earlier, which is amazing to see. So it actually aligns with my Monday, which is pretty rare with a lot of the software things these days. It's nice to see on my uh department but also great to see for you guys because you guys also get to see it uh technically your sunday or very very early monday which is awesome so that's going to be really awesome to see uh and yeah i'm going to be talking a little bit about it so with this as we'll be seeing is it released with liquid gen 1.0 and illogen and both of them are now out uh, and ready to be downloaded. I'm not too sure about the unsupported license. That might be something that uh, I just have to log into with, um, or might just be because it's just released. However, uh, really awesome to see them both come out. Uh, both of them come out with a heap of, I mean, of course there's no new presets for Illigen because everything's new there, um, but uh, Liquigen's got a heap of new cool things uh, here, which we can see with a bunch of these uh, and it kind of goes into a lot of what they have been developing uh, there with some new material stuff that they've been introducing, which I believe uh, aligns with this emissive. I don't believe emissive was there. Same with like a um, iridescent here. Uh, there's also a lot of new presets revolving around like vicious, uh, uh, like like um, like sort of like honey viscous stuff. Uh, so that's going to be really awesome to play around with here. Um, they've also been going. Uh, with a lot of uh, larger scenes as well, with some waves, we've got Whirlpool, uh, we've got um, some pretty cool Helix stuff, which is really awesome. This is, I guess, a precursor to hopefully what we may be able to see once we get splines and stuff uh, in Liquid Gen and the other programs as uh, well. Uh, but, you know, boat weights, uh, a lot of these, oh, even Caustics as well. So this is going to be really awesome to explore and play around with. Uh, adds really a lot to this there's a lot of uh, really awesome areas that we can i guess use as a preset as a basis for uh ultimately what we're going to be wanting to use um now the both this uh liquid gen 1.0 and illogen uh well also being 1.0 uh, on release uh i would like to make a more uh cohesive and uh deeper video into both of these later in this week uh, unfortunately, I will not be able to upload anything too crazy earlier on as my week's pretty damn packed with a lot of uh, uni work. Unfortunately, we got many, many hours, I think like 48 hours of work uh, each week. So it's going to be pretty packed, but maybe this will come if I can find some time in the uh, after meetups or during the uh, weekend. Uh, but going through into Illogen. We've also got a bunch of really cool stuff here with like the blooming flower. Now, some of these we've already uh, been luckily able to see uh, posted by uh, Nick, uh, who's the creator, uh, up on his, some of his socials and in the Discord there, but also some other stuff posted around Django FX, which is really awesome to see. So uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff. There's actually quite a lot more than I would have actually thought that you could be doing. Like I was looking uh, a little bit earlier uh, when I was... Uh, aware that this all um, was available and just by clicking for example this randomizer you got a, a whole awesome randomizer and can I guess export a bunch of uh, really awesome looking um, bullet holes effectively so uh, you know being able to utilize Illogen for creating um, you know these uh, generating some of these cool effects is going to be a pretty awesome thing but as you can see it's going to be great for also UI uh, It'll be great for um ultimately a lot of really awesome things so i uh you know i cannot wait to go and explore ultimately what is going to be uh fully available i could see it not the focus however i could see it diving into some similar sections similar to uh substance designer of course that's not their approach i believe however uh there are a lot of tools from what i've seen uh especially with all the noises and whatnot um, and I imagine tiling and all these things that uh, we should hopefully be able to see uh, some really cool things. Like as soon as you start implementing shapes and, and potential brick 
generators, <laughs> you can kind of do a lot of what you'd be able to do in Substance Designer. So, uh, really awesome to see. Can't wait to explore it. I hope you guys uh, really enjoy uh, looking into what they've kind of done and, and looking into potentially what might be available within these programs. Uh, but yeah, once again, this isn't a particularly uh, deep dive video or anything. I'd love to do my my normal one hour long deep dives uh, later this week or next week if things get way too hammy this week. But uh, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, I just want to make sure that I have everything, you know, I guess in my head knowing exactly what everything does before I make that video so I can make the most, uh, uh, the highest quality video I can bring to you guys. So uh, this is really awesome to see. Uh, big, big, big congratulations to Django Fix. You know, you guys have done a really awesome job pumping out this update, and I am aware that some things were looking a little um, hammy at some times, uh, looking at the roadmap, but, uh, you know, you guys have done an amazing job. Um, both of these tools are looking really amazing, and can't wait to see both what I can do with it, you guys can do with it, and, uh, like, the industry as a whole. I'm really hoping to see a lot more uh, liquid gen stuff and games and potentially quite a cool uh subsect of um illogen usage i mean just going into some real not so basic but but um basic ideas such as these uh here i'm just going to quickly get up just by clicking the output section and pausing the video would help uh just by clicking these output nodes if it comes in and is not visible by default just make sure you're clicking the output node similar to GeoGen, um, but yeah, it's going to be really awesome to see how other uh, studios will be able to utilize some of these tools. And um, I mean, this looks amazing. Uh, this Diablo uh, health inspired, you know, I guess you could also say similar to how Path of Exile uh, approaches theirs. So this looks amazing. Can't wait to see, you know, I know a couple UI artists and I'm sure they would absolutely die to try out some of these tools. So. Uh, that's an amazing area as well. Um, yeah, can't wait to see what you guys do. Can't wait to see really how this all ends up going. Uh, there's big plans for these in the future, which I can't wait to see, you know, how they're going to approach them. Um, but yeah, hope you guys all have a good one. Thank you guys all for watching and hope to see you guys later this week. There's a lot coming out and there's a lot planned for, uh, in my head. So you guys have a good one and we'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.